So we have actually saved Sothaseel. He is safe and in charge of Clockwork City again. We also chose to save Luciana. So I figured since he's safe, maybe we can take this time to work on some new daily quests and who knows what else. Oh, pa, crow friend. The court flaps happily amid the tributes you brought us. Ooh. We couldn't possibly accept any more at this time. But do return later. The court is fickle and in constant need of new baubles. What kind of help do you need exactly? The Black Feather Court seeks shiny baubles that glitter and gleam. Bring me ornate and decadent pieces of armor encrusted with gems and jewels that we can pick and pluck. Our Fancy. Our lacks these vital commodities, and only your assets can secure them. My assets? Your hands, crow friend. Our wings lack such ugly but useful appendages. Now listen well. Plunder armor of the most ornate sort. Pieces that make a statement. Impractical things, but pretty when polished and shine. Yes, bring such items to me. Okay, I guess I'll bring any ornate pieces of items I acquire. Glitter and gleam. So, the crows are expensive, is really what's going on here. Um, I need to, apparently I already own two ornate items, so I just need to find one more, which I should just find while questing, so that's cool. The other thing we have is an old daily quest, and I still have to go get some coal from the reactor district. Now, do I remember where the reactor district is? Not really. Oh boy. All right, so it is on this end of the city that is the reactor district. So we need to go find some coal. And of course, I remember that sometimes there's a chest over here. So I need to check that out first and foremost. Because chests are awesome. And some of these sets actually sound really cool. I don't know how useful they are, but some of the Clockwork City drop sets sound really fun and cool. Ooh, Master Regulus Harvester. No chest over there today though. I wonder where I'm going to find coal. Oh, thankfully I have some quest markers to lead the way for me. So it looks like I should be able to find some coal down here. Let's kill these guys. All right, you guys slow me down. I'm not a big fan of that. And, ooh, maybe in this back corner. Was there a chest back here or was it just a trunk? Oh, that's what those trunks are for. I see. Now I have an explanation for why the trunks that I felt should have been chests exist. We found some more coal. This is awesome. Counterfeit coal stockpile. Oh, it's counterfeit. That's good. I didn't realize it was all counterfeit. It's not very not very good for someone who's trying to go the right way. Oh boy. This guy is angry at me. Oh, come on, fabricants. Settle down. Hey! You don't go away anywhere. All right, we need just a little bit more coal, and we obviously see one nearby. This fabric is going in our way, though. You, ooh, run, run, run. Uh, where is the coal? Is it that way or is it up there? I see. Ooh, no. Don't make a mad. Oh, we made a mad. There it is. I see it. All right, ooh, find ornate armor, yes. Oh, Mr. Beetle Fabricant, I just can't deal with you today, okay? I'm after coal. All right, so we're done with coal. So we just need to hand in that daily quest and this other, and we're done with the ornate items. This is perfect. This was actually a pretty quick daily quest. Well, two of them. I was half done one of them, so I guess that doesn't really count. But we can pretend I wasn't. We're just gonna kill all the things on the way back, and I'll meet you back there. Alright, so first we'll talk to the crows and give him his ornate items. Murder! Murder, I say! Sorry, sorry. 
I like to keep the featherless curs guessing. Okay. But how goes your search for tributes for the court? I gathered the items requested for your hoard. Slap my feathers and call me a pigeon, but these will do nicely. Even the Duke of Crows will be impressed, and he's a hard one to please. I have something for you in return. A prize for the Blackfeather Court's favorite crow friend. Ooh, a crow touch clockwork coffer. No respect. No respect at all. Crow friend, a word. Whoa, is this just like super repeatable and not a daily? Oh, <gasps> Ebon Shadow. Nice. So the crow touch coffer is how you get Ebon Shadow. I'm going to put that in the bank real quickly so I don't accidentally learn it on this character because she's not Hello my crafter. There. So I wonder if... Whoa! Ta! No talk! Counting! Now I have to start over! What kind of help do you need? Featherless ingrates! They dare call us dirty birds! They risk our wrath by throwing things to chase us away. What? Such insults must not stand. The court demands tributes. So what do you want me to do? The court's honor is at stake. They treat us like lowly pigeons, even though we are sleek and beautiful. Uh? Well, let us show them dirty. Bring me their tools of grooming and cleaning. Then we'll see how they like it when their feathers turn dull. I'll gather their cosmetics and grooming items as requested. So this is kind of like the Thieves Guild repeatable. I wonder if they have to be, does it matter if they're stolen or not? Do, do pros care if it's stolen? I wonder if I have anything in my bank. So I don't know if these actually have to be stolen, but because of the Thieves Guild quest, I actually have some already laundered ones in my bank. Cute. Something shiny, something tasty, or both. Shiny and tasty. Ha! He's Stop weird. keeping me in suspense. Either give me the tribute or get back out there and find one. Here's the items. Ah, oh, yes. These will do nicely. The court preens in elegance and splendor as the featherless curs languish in muck and mire. Okay. Take these coins for your efforts, crow friend. And may your feathers always stay groomed. Sweet! Okay, so maybe it's just two per day that you can do it. I'm not quite sure how it works, but now he doesn't have another daily quest for us. And this time we just got a shield. No motif for us. Okay, what else we got going on in this city? Oh, Raskarug! Did you finish the request? Your reward has been burning a hole in my pocket. I have the sap. Well done. You've earned your gold today. I'll make sure to let Njordamar know we have more sap in stock. He's been wanting to try out a new adhesive bandage he's thought of. Not that I'll be volunteering anytime soon for that particular experiment. Oh, okay. Well, we get a Slagtown coffer. I'm glad you want to help, but don't work yourself sick. Take a break. Got any work? Alchemy plants aren't exactly easy to come by here, Ooh. and once we get some, we tend not to let them go to waste. That's where the alchemical satchels come in. They can keep the plants fresh for years. Avberl Tremuil can tell you more if you got questions. Anything else I need to do? Now these satchels work, but they turn the plants so bitter no one will drink the tonics Avberl makes. Okay. We found a sweet syrup in the wellspring that makes them tolerable, but you'll have to deal with the patrol factotums. Still interested? I'll get right to it. You get me those supplies, I get you a reward. Simple as that. All right, um, I'm pretty sure I know why we need to gather supplies for them, but let's see what's in the Slag Town Copper Tempered Brass. So I'm assuming the Apostle chapters also come from the Slag Town Copper um, because they give the style material for it. Uh, cool, cool, we got stuff. Stuff is always good. Um, collecting herbalist satchels sounds like something I would do just while I'm out roaming around, and this syrup. Uh, where do I get the syrup? I don't know where I get the syrup. Maybe I'll talk to this lady and find out. Y y you're the one who's gathering up my satchels, right? T t try not to handle them for long. That smell is impossible to wash off. What can you tell me about the satchels? 
They're a wonder. The apostles never bothered to research them, since they use machinery to treat their ills. But we we don't have fancy things like that down here. Still researching their origin, how they're m made and whatnot. What about the syrup? R right. The satchels work w wonders, but they make the plants taste well. They taste like something that fell out of a fabricant's bomb. Oh! The syrup helps. Now it just tastes like a handful of d dirty coins. Better than nothing, I guess. Yes, and I'll find it in the wellspring? I will warn you, the Everwound wellspring is supposed to be off limits. Okay. Occasionally, someone is brave enough to sneak in and grab some fresh food, but it's a dangerous place. Just try to be careful. All right? All right, I will. All right, so now that we're all set up with some daily quests to do... I think it's time that we maybe take on a little side quest. Let's see. Who's these people here? Hello? That display of emotion isn't indicative of the people of Slagtown. Kamid lost his mother in the last pilgrimage, oh. and that's made him angry at the world. He has a point, though. Dreams and prophecies can be dangerous things. What pilgrimage do you mean? Once every season, the most brave and desperate members of our community make the journey to request a fortune from the Grand Prognosticator. Not everyone receives a prediction, but many have died hoping to have their destinies changed. What's the Grand Prognosticator? An oracle of sorts. It's an unusual factotum with a penchant for the mystical and the dramatic. Okay. I fear Kamid plans to do something foolish and dangerous. Perhaps you'd be willing to go to the Outlaw's Refuge and talk to him? Keep him safe? I can go to the Outlaw's Refuge and talk to him. Thank you, my friend. My old bones aren't up to another adventure, but I owe it to Comet's mother to do whatever I can to keep him safe. Okay. The Grand Prognosticator spits out fortunes the way a sawmill spits out lumber. All the same until one isn't. Uh, the Grand Prognosticator gives everyone the same fortune? More or less. Something about abject poverty and a miserable existence. But every once in a great while, the Factotum provides a different prophecy. I received such a fortune when I made my pilgrimage so many years ago. What fortune did you receive? A fortune of hope, of riches beyond my wildest dreams. It spoke of a way to escape this life, but I wasn't brave enough to heed the prognosticator's words. What? Kamid calls the Oracle a fraud. Maybe so, but even a cracked egg sometimes contains a scream. Alrighty, alrighty. So, I need to find the Outlaw's Refuge, which can be found over here. Uh, down by the transmutation station. So, I guess we'll get headed there. Oh, it's like right beside where all the dailies are. Oh my goodness, didn't even notice that. This is definitely an interesting outlaw's refuge that I barely fit in. I'm a very tall elf. Oh, Kamid, are you here? Hey, bud. Go find another beggar to bother. I've got more important things to do than carry some apostle's hopeful sack of dirty laundry. Oh, Palbatan sent me to help you. Palbatan's an old fool and a coward. He knows that the prognosticator provides nothing but false hope and dangerous dreams to our people. That's what got my mother killed. Oh. I swore I'd never let another person get caught up in its games. So what do you plan to do about it? Prove that the prognosticator is a liar and a fraud. It tells them over and over again how terrible life is. And then once every generation it provides an actual fortune to keep them coming back. So I'm going to the Vale of Tears to destroy it. The Vale of Tears is dangerous. Let me help you. You want to help? I won't refuse, though... I don't have anything to give you, if that's what you're after. Okay. The Vale of Tears lies to the southwest. If you really want to help, meet me there. Well, tell me about all these predictions. I've never gone on a pilgrimage, but I've heard tales. The poor and weak will continue to be poor and weak. 
We'll live a miserable existence and then die from hunger or sickness. Cheerful, right? Makes you wonder why we keep asking the question. So why do people keep going back? Because every once in a great while it actually spits out a different prediction. Something about finding a lost treasure and attaining enough wealth to change the course of your destiny. Or something close enough to that to get everyone excited. You don't believe people can change their destiny? Of course I believe that! Why else would I want to prove the prognosticator wrong? I want to show everyone that we can make our own futures. We can shape our own destinies, despite what some malfunctioning factotum has to say. Alrighty, alrighty! So I guess we're going to, uh, the Vale of Tears. And not tears, like, out of your eyes. Tears, like, platforms. I don't know, different tears. So I took a way shrine, so we're a lot closer to the Vale of Tears, and I'm going to meet Comet there. I do want to definitely pay attention and walk a little bit because I want to watch out for herbalist satchels that I need for my daily quest. So it gives you a good reason to explore a little more than usual. Uh, I'll meet you there, though, if nothing exciting happens. This is a odd-looking place with a lot of angry things. Oh, Wow, that looks really pretty though. Hold on. There we go. That looks pretty. All those trees are like super bright right now. All right. Oh, Kevin. Oh, this Waka's breath. You will talk to me. Say something, damn it. Is this the prog whatever? The prognosticator refuses to talk to me. I request a fortune and receive only silence. Is that what my mother died for? fortune? I thought you wanted to destroy it! I will destroy the false prophet, but not by taking a hammer to its shell. Instead, I'll show my people that it isn't infallible. I'll destroy it by proving that the predictions it makes are blatant lies. To do this, we have to activate the machine. How do we activate it? As part of every pilgrimage, the faithful have to descend into the Vale of Tears and secure a working animo core from one of the factotums that roam the area. Head down there and see if any of them have a working power source. And what are you- Oh, I can intimidate you. Go down there and get your own! I... No, I can't. My mother's body is down there somewhere. If I were to find it, I'd lose my resolve and I wouldn't be able to finish what I've started. If you need my help, use this whistle. I'll do what I can from up here to assist you. Alright, I'll find a working animal core. Be careful in the veil. It's dangerous down there. I imagine it is pretty dangerous, and that's why I'm doing it and not you. Is this how I even get down there? I'm not exactly sure, even. Hello? Anything good over here? I need to murder a factotum, I hear. Hello? Searching area for hostile... Oh! There's factotums right down here! Oh, there we go. Totem analyst. No? Oh, you're not a working back totem. I see the problem here. Whoa, what is this? Damage back totem. Oh, that's a damage core. Stand back. I've got this. You've got this? What did you do? Did I get it? Oh, am I supposed to find his mother? Oh boy. Oh, I think this might be his mother. Terrible. Oh no, that's a damage back photo. Where's his mom? That's what I'd really like to know. Another damage back photo. Okay. Oh, I found a working core. Okay. Oh, a herbalist satchel. Yes. Now, have I been able to find his mum yet, though? That's why I would really like. Hello? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's her journal. Such a simple phrase, yet so power full of power. I finally acquired the passphrase to unlock the secrets of the absolute analysis factotums. The sacred text of Sothisil's honored assistant was instrumental in my discovery. I wonder what the mechanical creatures will tell me when I finally locate it and speak the phrase. My hope is that it will provide me with the means to finally make a better life for me and my son. Oh. Use the passphrase. On what? There's more where that came from, you mechanical monstrosity! What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. I need to use the passphrase on something. Do I use the passphrase? I need to find the factotum analyst. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, no, not the right one, apparently. How about this one? Hello? I would like to use the passphrase on you. I don't care about the whistle. I just want to find the analyst I can use a passphrase on. Can I use the passphrase on you? Oh man, how am I going to find it? Ooh, a herbalist satchel though. That's nice. All right, maybe we'll check back here. No, doesn't look like anything good. There's a lot of factotum analysts here. How am I supposed to know the right one? Hello? You. Reflecting. Reflecting. Memory engaged. Gathering data. The Grass Fortress. Beginning evaluation and analysis. By Set's will, please state your query. What are you? Dreaming. Squid Jelly. A rainy day. I am a first generation analysis model factotum, specializing in gathering and analyzing data for and about the citizens of the Brass Fortress. My gears continue to spin true. What data do you gather? We count the number of people residing within the Brass Fortress, tracking births, deaths, illnesses, relative wealth and poverty, all with the purpose of evaluating and predicting social trends and growth within Lord Set's creation. So you use the data to tell fortunes? Intriguing query. That is one interpretation of our analytical capability. Okay. The ongoing purpose of collecting and analyzing such information is to provide Sofa Seal with the data he needs to improve the lives of his subjects. And when did he last make these improvements? Query. Reflecting. Reflecting. That information is currently unavailable. Please return to the Brass Fortress and seek out a Clockwork Apostle for further assistance in this matter. Can you tell me my fortune? Beginning analysis to chart possible outcomes. No relevant data in memory vaults. Error. Error. No pronouncements can be furnished without statistics to analyze. Please present yourself to a clockwork apostle for immediate data collection. Okay. That was weird. I guess we better just go get Comet again. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of things down here. How do I even get up here? I don't even know how to get up. Oh! I can run this way. 
Thank you, random person. I'm going to follow you. All right, Kamed. Ooh, loot all the things. Although I would prefer to loot herbalist satchels because that's what I need for my daily. I will take anything. Were you able to find an animal core? Yeah. I see you've brought back an animal core. It works, I assume. Good job. While you were gone, I figured out where to install the core. There's a cavity in the machine that looks to be about the right size. I think it goes in there. What happens after we install the core? I'm not sure. I never went on a pilgrimage, so I've never seen the Grand Prognosticator in operation. My mother told me a few stories. She was always vague about the Oracle. Speaking of my mother, did you find anything else down there? Was your mother's name Malaya? How did you know? No, oh, you found her. I didn't want to imagine what happened to her, but after seeing what you went through down there... Wait, how did you learn my mother's name if you just found her body? I found her journal. It contained a passphrase that activated an obsolete factotum. A passphrase? Let me see. Fascinating. I wonder why she kept this a secret. I remember something about a sacred text, though. I'll ask Paul Botton about it later. Okay. Right now, I want to know what an obsolete factotum said after you used the passphrase. The factotum said it collects and analyzes data about the people of the Brass Fortress. So that's what the prognosticator uses to make its dire predictions? Information collected about our habits and patterns. How insidious. It makes sense, but how can I get the people to believe it? I'll place the animal core in the machine so you can ask the prognosticator. All right, um, uh, let's put it there. Initializing. Reflecting. Reflecting. Memory engaged. Okay. By the will of set, please state your query. It worked! Prognosticator, tell me what the fates have in store for Comet of Slagtown. Reflecting. Charting possible outcomes. Comet of Slagtown. Minimum income. Inferior quality of life. Great. You know all about me. But what does it mean? What's my future, you stupid construct? Query. Reflecting. Prognostication unsatisfactory. Poor quality of life will lead to sickness, starvation, depression, and ultimately, death. Okay. Perfectly dire. Just what I expected. And what about my friend here? Whoa, I don't want to reflecting. know. Reflecting. No relevant data in memory vaults. Error occurred. Please present yourself for immediate data collection. What? Interesting. The prognosticator doesn't have a prophecy for you. More proof that it uses what it knows to make calculated guesses. But it predicted doom and gloom for me. Now I can change my future and show everyone that our fate isn't fixed. And how do you plan to change your fate? By doing the impossible. I'll find the lost treasure of the Radius. In the past, the pilgrimage included both a visit to the Prognosticator and a search for the treasure. That changed after a lot of people died during an unsuccessful hunt. And how are you going to find something that has eluded your people for generations? Palbatten survived that doomed hunt. I'll get him to tell me exactly what happened. Okay. Then, I can retrace their steps, avoid their mistakes, and find enough wealth to change my fortune. Let's go find the old man in the Brass Fortress. Oh boy, this sounds like, ooh, I don't know, sketchy at best, is the way I would put it. Sketchy at best. But I'm thinking that once we find that old man in the Brass Fortress, we are going to have to head off to... I don't know if it's going to be a dungeon of some kind or what, but it's definitely not going to be safe. So I think that's best left for last time. Or last time, next time. Thanks for joining me. I'm Miss Fizz, and bye for now.